In game theory, Zermelo's theorem, named after Ernst Zermelo, says that in any finite two-person game of perfect information in which the players move alternatingly and in which chance does not affect the decision-making process, if the game cannot end in a draw, then one of the two players must have a winning strategy i.e. force a win. It can alternately be stated as saying that in such a game, either the first player can force a win, or the second player can force a win, or both players can force a draw. <laughs> Conclusions of Zermelo's theorem Zamello's work shows that in two-person zero-sum games with perfect information, if a player is in a winning position, then he can always force a win no matter what strategy the other player may employ. Furthermore, and as a consequence, if a player is in a winning position, it will never require more moves than there are positions in the game with a position defined as position of pieces as well as the player next to move. Publication history Zamello's original paper describing the theorem Über eine Anwendung der Mengenlehrer auf die Theorie des Schachspiels, was published in German in 1913. Ulrich Schwalbe and Paul Walker translated Zamello's paper into English in 1997 and published the translation in the appendix to Zamello and the early history of game theory. Topic. Details Zamello considers the class of two-person games without chance, where players have strictly opposing interests and where only a finite number of positions are possible. Although in the game only finitely many positions are possible, Zamello allows infinite sequences of moves since he does not consider stopping rules. Thus, he allows for the possibility of infinite games. Then he addresses two problems. What does it mean for a player to be in a winning position and is it possible to define this in an objective mathematical manner? If he is in a winning position, can the number of moves needed to force the win be determined? To answer the first question, Zamello states that a necessary and sufficient condition is the non-emptiness of a certain set, containing all possible sequences of moves such that a player wins independently of how the other player plays. But should this set be empty, the best a player could achieve would be a draw. So he defines another set containing all possible sequences of moves such that a player can postpone his loss for an infinite number of moves, which implies a draw. This set may also be empty, i.e., the player can avoid his loss for only finitely many moves if his opponent plays correctly. But this is equivalent to the opponent being able to force a win. This is the basis for all modern versions of Zamello's theorem. About the second question, Zamello claimed that it will never take more moves than there are positions in the game. His proof is a proof by contradiction, assume that a player can win in a number of moves larger than the number of positions. Of course, at least one winning position must have appeared twice. So the player could have played at the first occurrence in the same way as he does at the second and thus could have won in fewer moves than there are positions. Topic. Example When applied to chess, Zamello's theorem states, "...either white can force a win, or black can force a win, or both sides can force at least a draw." Topic. Notes Topic. External links Original paper in German. Ulrich Schwalb, Paul Walker, Zamello and the Early History of Game Theory, Games and Economic Behavior, Vol. 34, 2001, 123–137, online